Alright, I'm back. My leg's feeling better. A little bit. And I actually went and skipped ahead a little, a little bit because not much stuff was there. And what is this thing? Oh. That's not a pixel height that no one cares about. And it's that thing that killed me twice. Glass seats there, not moving. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Wait. Oh, I need to jump over it. Same with this one and the one up there that like, just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, sorry, I mistimed my jump. Too bad because of a horrible camera angle. Energy tank. More health. Excel charge. So like David said, I, I don't have to run around as much and charge up. Ah, oh, here we are. And yeah, just so you guys know, I'm not going to talk much during cutscenes because I think, well, there's not much to say about them. Except for this part. Uh, actually, not yet. Get out the way. Get it. It's Ridley. Man, get to your thing in here. We gotta clear out. Where's the exit at? Well, Anthony, the exit's like around there somewhere, maybe, or not. Thing to do, huh? Let's tear this thing up. Wait, Anthony, leave this one to me. Don't waste your plasma. Yeah, this is where I get the uh, super missiles. Uh, I want to dodge that. In that. Gladly. Super missiles are my best friend. It's been like that since Super Metroid. But in this game, you actually have recoil when you shoot super missiles. So, yeah, it's just it's just the game's way of saying screw you. And here's that infamous cutscene that pissed off many a Metroid fan. Not me, but it pissed off a lot of fans. Because Samus apparently has PTSD. Yep. Say hello to Ridley. It's not the way Samus does. God, don't do it the way Samus does. She just cowers in fear and does not do anything. Mostly. Wait. What the? Yeah. Samus. Do you copy? Samus. Samus, use your plasma beam. What's your status?
Now, if you hit Samus with that, I'm pretty sure I don't even have to say it. I got my plasma beam. You know, I should probably scan first. I shall do that. Yeah, and it goes into this invincible mode that where nothing hurts him at all. I gotta shoot a spoon missile at him, but when he stops attacking me, I'll gladly do that. I need to get a clear shot though. It's obviously not a clear shot. Neither is that. Move, 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 ow. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't a horrible shot right there. Down but not out. Obviously. Oh, more, more awesome armor. Shoot again. Yeah, this fight is actually pretty simple. Which is kind of surprising because it's pretty easy to cry out loud. But it has an awesome music. It's an awesome game of still release thing. I mean, I don't really like this game's music, but this one track right here is like so great. It's better than Brawl's remix, that's for sure. Of course. I wondered if Anthony was conscious as he hit bottom. Unbearable thoughts welled up in me, you think making me want to get as far you, away as I could. Mava. I regretted I not being able to protect him. And I regretted thinking, even for a moment, that he would betray me. Or fail to come to my aid at the expense of his own safety. Well, now, uh, oh. Yep. 
I was about to say, like, how do I get out of here? Extremely fast. And I uh, don't know where to go. There's an arrow pointing me in the right direction. So I'm just going to come back up here. Should probably recharge my missiles. Alright. Something was gnawing at me. Communication with Adam had ceased. From the deleter's point of view, Adam would represent the largest threat. Without question, his life had to be in danger. But it was Adam Malkovich. He wouldn't go down easily. And Adam would already know about the deleter. So there's no way he would let his guard down. If that was the case, then... Why couldn't I reach him? What did he think of the unfolding situation? And what was he planning to do next? My racing thoughts started to frustrate me. And apparently the elevator was already there. You know the deleter already took it. And yes, you already know that this elevator is bound for sector one. Save really quick, and that should be enough for now. 